Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to our, our afternoon session. It, we have some very distinguished speakers, and I'm sure it will be very interesting presentations. Uh, for each of the speakers, I will give you kind of a timing just to show you that we need to stay within our time frame so that we finish by the break time. Thank you both. Uh, my name is Howard Combs. I'm from San Jose State University. And let me introduce our first invited speaker uh, is Professor Yoshida Masami uh, from the Faculty of Education at Shiba University in Japan. Uh, he's going to talk about brokers in two types of online learning groups. So welcome, and you're welcome to begin. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for chair. So my name is Yoshida from Japan. Have you ever heard the Chiba Prefecture? Is my prefecture. Maybe that you've been to Japan and uh, using the Narita International Airport. That airport is uh, uh, alternative name is uh, Tokyo Airport, but actually located in my province, you know, Chiba. We have the Tokyo Disneyland. The name is Tokyo, but actually. That is located in Chiba. And that is Chiba. So that today, I would like to introduce about uh, uh, group activity. You know, I know that at this moment, in this conference, we need to discuss about the MOOC. Also in Japan, we have the MOOC. But the situation of the MOOC in Japan is a little bit different from the Thailand and the other countries. Basically, in Japan, we have the Department of the Lifelong in, faculty, uh, in Educational Ministry. You know, they have the strong function. For example, the, we have the Community Center for the Lifelong Learning. The number of the Community Center is just the same number as the secondary school. You know, we can see that everywhere. So the totally separated. Also that we have the uh, like uh, retraining, especially the uh, vocational training and the Ministry of the Labor. Now they have the strong function. Also that we have the license system, you know, totally the license. For example, the school teacher. School teacher should have the teacher's license, something like that. I have the license of the science teacher. But I cannot teach the mathematics because I have not license, something like that. You know, very straight. So the, uh, this function is uh, initiated by the different function. That is why the, in, the MOOC, uh, in Japan, uh, MOOC in Japan, we have the different flavor. You know, in many countries, MOOC for the lifelong, but we have the different paths. Uh, MOOC for the like, a vocational training, we also have the different paths. So the MOOC basically the in Japan. This is my personal opinion. MOOC is, uh, uh, MOOC is used in Japan as an advertisement of the higher education. No? Uh, university providing their own courses for the public you know, uh, to uh, em emphasize uh, their motivation to access the uh, university, something like that. So the, today we uh, I would like to introduce a different path of the MOOCs in Japan. At this moment, in these few years, MOOCs are emphasized by the university office. Because uh, many of the universities, especially the public universities in Japan, they are very active in the learning analytics. You know? uh, in one way, the learning analytics is very important to collecting the data. For that purpose, MOOC is uh, uh, very convenient for the university people. Also, in other passages uh, like institu institutional, uh, uh, institutional uh, uh, research, IR, yes. Uh, not only the lesson, but also that in many cases we use the social activity. For example, the, in terms of the ICT, we use uh, social media and the other method to enhance uh, the uh, education in ICT. 
In this case, we must mind about the difference between the classroom and the social activity. In case of the classroom, we collect the student. No? Coming to one classroom, we collect the student put into the one classroom. We show the some target to the student. After then, we collect in the data. All the data will follow the Gaussian distribution. You know? So key is to collect the person and pack in the person in one room and to show the target. So the distribution is the Gaussian distribution. In other way, we use the Twitter and the Facebook and the social media in the classroom. You know? People is the social people. And the students then enjoy themselves or they would like to collect something new, unknown information from the social media. In this case, you know, activity of the people will follow the Gaussian distribution, totally different. But if we using the both activity in the institutional research, you know, we must mind about the difference of the distribution. For example, the, from the view of the university office, they want to collect in the variety of the data, not only the classroom, but also the like a social activity. Also, that they try to use a, a computer for collecting and uh, archiving the data, and uh, try to uh, using the method of the like uh, analysis of the big data. In this case, we encounter the severe problem of the you know difference of the distribution. So that today I would like to introduce. Uh, <coughs> two different uh, idea. Individual running is a red color, okay? And the communication, blue color, in the group activity. When we conduct in the group activity in the university lesson, you know, there are two bilateral activity will happen in the group activity. In one side, in the individual learning, the other side is the communication, you know. So the both activity is, I think, uh, is not separated, no. Uh, both activity would be the coexistence. Okay, so the, uh, this is the bilateral view, you no. Know? Recently, the many of the researchers found uh, this kind of the importance in one side, you know, group learning for individual students, you know. Learner should be elaborate their knowledge and uh, uh, should work independently in the group activity. Another view is uh, group learning for communication. Learners should communicate with the peer or users, you know, to elaborate their knowledge. This is based on the teaching methodology. Active learning is common in Japan. How about uh, your country? The, in Japan, the, our ministry mentioned that all the education from uh, elementary to higher education should use uh, active learning. No? No one knows the real situation of the active learning. But anyway, the, the, our go, uh, no, government and the ministry mentioned about the, you should use active learning. Okay, so the, <laughs> the red one, student at the center of the learning. You know, uh, this is a long time our challenge, not only the, like uh, providing the fixed knowledge, but also the student should engage their own active learning. Okay. Also, the independent work is very important. Another idea is also the famous one, the, the cooperative learning. And uh, this is uh, very important to have the communication with peer and the other student. Also, the share the, their uh, learning activity uh, with love. Next is uh, learning in the social group. At this moment, not only the classroom and not only the uh, textbook, but also that we must have the, some activity in the society, 
in this case, uh, this kind of the educational COD will work. And uh, also the social activity is uh, for developing the uh, personal knowledge network is one idea. Another idea is uh, interacting on an ongoing basis is another idea. So upper one is uh, knowledge reside in network. You know, knowledge is thinking like that, PKN. The another idea is uh, based on the cooperative learning. I don't know, sorry, the, uh, the community of practice, sorry. The, uh, knowledge is designed in the sort of, eh? Eh? Five more now. Dimana. Five. Okay, okay. Knowledge is designed the social interaction. Then, we need thinking about the uh, activity in social media. Even the activity in the social media, there are two bilateral ideas. One is a personal running. Also, the recently, the frequently, the we introduced the social media for the uh, enhancement of the university lesson as well. You know, in Japan, the, we used to have the very strict about the, to using the social media because of the like uh, fear of the security, something like that. No, but at this moment we can use like a Twitter, something like that. Also, the uh, social media is a good uh, tool for sharing the experience and uh, build up the relation. This is also the famous. The next is an online learning group. Also, the even the learning in the online. Also, the we can see the bilateral uh, benefit to use uh, self-discipline and self-exploration, and also the discussion and the communities. Then we come to the question. While preceding study reported the various effect on the group learning and the learning using social media. And the process and the factor that support for from the trigger to the peak of the group development is still uncovered area in learning environment. So the, this is my target for today. So far, that we could see some preceding study about the importance of the brokers. Broker is uh, to connect in the socialized group. Oh, I must say one thing, you know. In case of the Gaussian distribution, you know, if we see the group under the Gaussian distribution, group is uh, almost uh, you know, uh, almost the same numbers of the communication, like a fair communication. But if we see the uh, group in the, uh, like a social media, like a under the power load distribution, group is totally different from the Gaussian distribution. We can see the some core group, you know. Also, the, we can see the many isolated people, you know. So communication is not fair. So the, in this case, we must see the importance of the broker that's connected between the group. Coordinator is that one. Is a mediating user who transfers the message to another member. If the group have the coordinator, communication inside the group will be enhanced. And the representatives. A user representing the entire subgroup. He transfers the message to another subgroup and subgraph. Also, the group usually is isolated in the social media. It's much as have some connecting person between the group. Gatekeeper. 
a user accept the message from another group and transfer it to own subgraph. You know, some smart user in one group who can collect some important information from the outside group and introduce to the member. And uh, itinerant broker located in the different ah okay now located in the different sub subgraph and uh, connect the user within the same subgraph. Like this. People located in the other subgraph. But uh, that will enhance the communication in the one group, something like that. I think that broker. Next is the reason. Connect the user of the different subgraphs and the transfer the message beyond its own subgraph. So the, that is the famous five types of brokers. It's usually the coordinator is easy to generate and the uh, reason is difficult to generate. There is a difficulty among the uh, setting up the coordinator uh, uh, brokers. This is an example. From now on, I will introduce some real example already published in the academic uh, journal. Uh, the uh, example of the uh, China. We, we have the cooperative uh, uh, joint study between Japan and China. You know, uh, we have the, some difference of the teaching strategy in the university. In my case, I use the social media for enhance the personal learning of the student. The student can use and uh, like a Twitter and a Facebook and uh, some social media freely to collect in the something they don't know. But in China, they think like, like uh, uh, social media is used to enhance the communication. Also, that they mind about the control of the student <laughs> in the social media. So the first, they selected the member only student. That means that they use a closed member of the social media. First, they limit the member just for the student. Uh, you can see the black one, black, black core is a student, is the initial stage. Then teacher ask the student to expand, expand their communication to the, their friends. Okay? The second, uh, you can see the kind of the star, you know, small dot is a friend. No? It is easy to communicate among the students in the classroom. But uh, it's not so easy to communicate among the friend of friend, you know. That's the style of the China. So, so that this is an example of the blue communication practice, okay? So the ego network of the student. We select one student, and uh, it is easy at the initial stage. It is easy to... Uh, develop the egalitarian, code, egalitarian network by the coordinator. Because all the members are the student, they are known, also they meet uh, every day's lesson. It's easy to connect. But the next one is expanded. Once the teacher asks the student to include their personal friend in the network, it's quite difficult. This is our aristocratic uh, network. In this case, role of the coordinator is totally different. The first one is the coordinator, is a, uh, broker is a coordinator. Next one is a uh, broker is a representative and the gatekeeper. You know? uh, also, the, under the guideline of the committee, uh, the committee of practice, it must have the, some assigned uh, person to have the role of the community maintenance. This was be done by the uh, coordinator uh, broker. This is a famous four steps of the stage of uh, uh, COP, community of the practice. So the, okay, no? okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so the, we can see the first step. Also that they have the story. First, people in the group, Easy to communicate. 
and uh, uh, easy to uh, uh, easy to communicate and uh, easy to exchange the idea, but uh, uh, after the uh, like a plateau of the uh, communication, uh, they, they have the some uh, uh, decrease the uh, uh, chances of the communication and uh, then disappear. And uh, final, uh, if group have the enough chance to enhance we enhance uh, the member uh, is possible uh, re revitalize the uh, community uh, communication among the member so the next is the example this is red one so also the example in my university and so based on the idea of the lesson I asked the student, you should go out and uh, go into the social media and uh, should have the, some uh, communication with related experts, something like that. The student tried, but it's not so easy, you know. I asked the student to go out, but uh, they have the, not so much skill uh, to communicate with an unknown person. But especially, the, I asked the student, uh, in terms of the lesson content, you should discuss with some related experts. It's not easy. No? They have the many you know, related expert, ex expert in the world. But basically, they don't have the any interest in my student. That's the problem. Okay? The student, they try to enhance their communication skill. And uh, also, the, uh, we can see that that kind of the uh, problem and uh, at the initial stage. One problem is the code start program. Every time happen. The second problem is the sparsity problem. Also, every time happen. So the, this is the difference between the like a controlled uh, group running and uh, uncontrolled group running. So in case of the, like a free, really free uh, communication in the social media, we encounter the, this problem every time. It's also that we must know the uh, situation, also that we must know the required skill for the student. So one of the uh, countermeasure, this is the other example based on the conference of the TCU before, like uh, this conference. And uh, how can we enhance the people by using the social media? That's I mentioned. The one idea is that to use gatekeeper. So the, I, today I will introduce some uh, possible countermeasure uh, for enhance the isolated group by using the broker. One idea is that to use a gatekeeper. So the another idea is the uh, reason. This is based on the profile of the people in the social media. So the, this is very important, also that this is well known. So the one of the difficulty we observed in Japan is the profile of the student. Students are afraid about uh, some uh, uh, problem happening in the social media. Then they developed a new idea for social media, for the lesson. They don't want to disclose their personal activity for the other people. So that when I give them the, some uh, assignment to work in the social media, many of the students, they develop the new ID. That was the beginning of the difficulty of the student. Because, uh, you know, uh, profile is uh, very important for the people. Based on the profile, they will select the uh, broker, they will select the contact person, something like that. So the, that is the next question. You know, maybe the, we now make the study with the student. How can we using the social media in the lesson, in the uh, classroom, also the, in the university stage? They will try to use the data from the social media. But I know that that kind of the data is not a real activity of the student. No? 
That is based on the additional idea of the student. It's not real. But in this case, students must have the, some additional skill to communicate with the social people. Thank you very much. Oh, we have the many times. If you have the question, feel free to ask me. Thank you, Professor Yoshida. Thank you for your presentation. I'm uh, uh, Professor Wasa from Assumption University in Thailand. And uh, you know, social media analysis, uh, social network analysis is one of my you know, fascinating idea of, of uh, research. Uh, I think when you address uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether you address the, the cultural difference between China and Japan, because it, it seemed like in Japan, social media is, the way that they use social media is quite different from, I, I would say, the rest of the world, right? It's very unique. It, much like in, in Thailand, we have very unique way of using so, social media. You know, everything that we have, we turn into like a, like a commerce platform. Mm. Uh, so in, in, uh, in Japan, I know that, uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram is really popular. And uh, so, so that's one question, it's, it's about the cultural difference. Another question is like, how, how do you glean this data from, from the internet? That's more hmm? like a technical. Glean? How, how do you collect the data from oh, the internet? Okay. Thank, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, the t uh, video is uh, something problematic. I must say the real situation in the China, you know, uh, in the China, Twitter, we cannot access to Twitter. You know, Line, we cannot access the Line. We cannot uh, use the same social media in the China. But the China have their own social media, like uh, WeChat. In this case, we use a uh, WeChat. It's uh, almost the same function as the Line. Also, the another problem is that in the China, they are every time afraid about the uh, power of the social media. So the many of the researchers cannot deal with uh, such kind of the free, uh, like uh, uh, big data, and uh, 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 student can communicate with a citizen, something like that. They are all, all, all time afraid about uh, that kind of the effect. So the, my uh, co-worker, uh, she, actually she, uh, she want to use uh, some controlled situation. That is the difference, you know? You mentioned about the cultural difference. I don't feel there's so much a difference between Japan and China in terms of the culture. But uh, I could feel the many difference, uh, especially the like, uh, uh, political the government guidelines in the, between Japan and China. But uh, they want to have the, some uh, real, uh, uh, they want to know the, some real situation and, uh, to using the uh, social media in the Chinese uh, lesson. So that she tried, that's all, okay? The one in question. The another one is, uh, uh, ah, data. In my case, I use the API, you know, uh, by using the software that automatically collect the data and put in the, the social media analysis software, something like that. In the China, they use a human. <laughs> they collect all the download, more than 1,000, and uh, by using the student, you know, uh, write down the, all the statements and uh, translate it into the English and uh, coming to my place. I asked them, the, mm, please um, uh, collect the data as a side of the Microsoft Excel or something like that. Okay? But in China, they cannot use a Microsoft Excel. They use uh, some Chinese Excel. You know, sometimes that's problematic for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do, do we have some other questions? Hi, Professor. Uh, I'm Susan DeLoya from Blackboard. Uh, it was a pleasure to oh, look Black at your Bo. presentation. Yep. Um, I agree. It was very interesting. And my question was about um, some of the paradigm you were talking about where the groups form either um, an egalitarian framework mm. 
or on Arist um, aristocratic, yeah, yeah. aristocratic framework. Those that framework originally comes from either the United States or the UK, right? That mm. scholarship. Mm. And I'm wondering if it's playing out differently, right? That kind of um, shift between egalitarian and aristocratic, mm. if it plays out differently within the Asian context that you are doing your research, what it means to be egalitarian maybe is something different in China and Japan than uh, what it is in the United States 15, 19 years ago. I wonder if you can speak to those differences at all within your research. Mm. Thank you very much. Sure. Yes. <laughs> you could feel the difference. I couldn't feel the differences. You know? In terms of the academic field, uh, we have no uh, barrier between the countries. So the, you know, even the egalitarian and the aristocratic uh, is uh, common in Japan. Now, many of the people know the, about the, also the uh, situation. Uh, also, the big data. You know, now is a world issue. You know, uh, to analyze the big data, also that we must know the difference of the this distribution as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do we have some other questions? Okay. My me kodai na pai 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 dum cha na dum cha kodai na pai cafe kodai cup cup maka. It's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>